for we young. Hi. Um, so I'm Brian Jensen. I'm Jonathan Gherkin, and this is our junior theremin kit. Um, we built this theremin out of a kit that we were given. Um, you can see that uh, when we plug it in, it does act as a musical instrument based on our interaction with this area. We can even change the mode, and all of a sudden we get tones out of it. And then when you hold it, it'll go to the top and stay there. But if you also hold the buttons, it will have a different reaction. So, lower... So you can see this theremin is based off of a circuit board. So, um, so the printed circuit board's on the back, and we've wired all the components to the front and soldered them on. Um, so this works off of a couple different components. We have uh, the speaker right here. This is a piezo that makes the sound. We've got a couple different chips on here. We've got some capacitors. We've got the LEDs showing the tones that we've got, and we've got buttons to control it. Um, this is a microcontroller, and that just is kind of the brain of the circuit. And this is our 555 chip, which actually does all of the uh, important stuff with the theremin. Yeah, the uh, 555 is a timing chip that acts as a sort of oscillator um, in conjunction with the capacitor here, or the this wire here, which acts as a capacitor. Um, and when you put your hand near it, you get different sounds because there's different capacitance because we interrupt the electric charge of the wire and the capacitor. Yeah, so we can show one more example of that. We're actually in action. As my hand gets close, we get a different capacitance in the wire that interrupts, or that changes the 555's oscillation frequency, and we get different tones based on where my hand is.